Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. This is Tom from Kudosold.com. Today I'm going to do a review on this jacket in front of me. It's Barber Ashby jacket. I usually do boots or shoes in this channel, but today I'm going to do Barber jacket review because I had this jacket for five years. So I think it's more than enough of time that I can do a proper review of this jacket. So I bar so I purchased this in 2019. I don't have the record of it, but I think I bought it from the USA. And this is the Ashby model of the barber jackets. It's a lightweight model. Usually barber jackets come in six ounce waxed cotton. However, this is a four ounce lightweight waxed cotton, which is a lighter version that they made in 2019 for like a special occasion, I believe, or 2018, something like that. So this, this is a lighter version of Ashby, which is perfect for me because I'm a person who sweats a lot and I get hot quite easily, even mid-November. Sometimes I'll find myself like sweating a bit or I get warm really quickly. So I needed a jacket that's lightweight and I can wear them in the city, uh, can wear them up or down in casual situations or semi-formal situations as well. So this was a perfect choice for me back then. And you know, five years is still going well. Disclaimer is I still didn't wax it yet. I do clean it quite often because I do get dirt on it or sometimes I'll spill something on it. So I do clean them, but I haven't waxed them yet, which I will soon. I'll get a wax bar from barber.com or barber.co.uk, I forgot. And I'll probably do all that. Um, in, there's an instruction in the inside here as well. If you're in, interested, um, I'll try to pause the video so that you guys can have a look. But yeah, if you're, yeah, you can just follow this instruction inside the barber jacket to wax them so that it became, becomes waterproof and so that I can prolong the life of the jacket rather than you know destroy it completely. And also something that I realized that I need to clean this or maintain the jacket is because I was in I was caught in the like a huge rainfall last month with this jacket on and it was leaking it started to leak a bit. Well um, usually um obviously it's not like waterproof it's not gonna prevent you from getting wet in a storm or something but it should be more waterproof than I was wet obviously my jeans and my boots were all wet um, so I decided to do a maintenance on the jacket after five four years you know which is not bad you know it lasted me that long time and I can probably wear them for more than four to five more years from here anyway which will be a good thing for me to do to wax my jacket so before I move on to my opinions about this jacket I'll explain about the jacket a bit more. The, the outer shell of the jacket is four ounce silk oil waxed cotton. As I mentioned previously, um, this is a bit lighter weight, I, I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong. The four ounce on the you know materials that's used is usually 0.4 millimeters thick. So because this is four ounce waxed cotton, this should be 1.6 millimeters thick. And the six ounce one should be 2.4. So this is, you know, two third or, you know, 66% lighter than the six ounce one. And the six ounce one should be a bit more, uh, you know, durable or warm in a way and more waterproof. Uh, but I chose this for the reason that I explained before. My brother has six ounce one and he loves it. And, you know, he doesn't have any discomfort of, you know, wearing six ounce anyway. So, if you're interested in buying a barber, just so you know, the only difference between this and that is this is four ounce and the normal Ashby is six ounce. If you look in the front, there are two hunting pockets here and here, which, which is around your chest area to put your hand in. And I believe that these were originally made so that you can put your hand in while you have your rifle on your shoulder, that it's easy to you know, keep your rifle secure and also keep your hand warm inside a pocket. And um, nowadays, obviously, it's not used for a rifle, but it's really useful. It's really comfortable. Um, I thought that it's not going to be comfortable, but it's more comfortable than I expected. Uh, so yeah, these are the pockets in the front side. And around the waist area, there are two extra pockets with buttons. And the deep pocket is inside. So I usually put my phone, my wallet, keys it's a really big pocket so sometimes my shopping some of my shopping goes into the pocket as well it's really useful and then the button um, keeps it secure as well if you see at the pocket at the bottom there's two 
ventilation holes here and here. Uh, probably keeps the pocket dry or more ventilated uh, than it should be because I guess it's completely blocked off. It'll create some you know, mold or or it's not going to be good for the fabric either. And there's another ventilation hole on the armpit side. Uh, three ventilation hole, three ventilation holes here and here as well. Uh, it's not a hole like that goes through per se uh, because it's only on the outer but not in the lining. But I think this helps, for example, people like me who gets hot really quickly because these are waterproof. It helps to ventilate the jacket as much as possible, basically, um, so that it, you don't get really boiling in the jacket, which I, I think is a very nice touch. In the front, there's a Barber logo here. I don't know if you can tell, yeah, the Barber logo is here. And all the buttons have Barber logo as well. Inside, we have a tartan lining, which is apparently the same as the tartan set used from the original Barber family's um, home country in or Ayrshire in Scotland. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Obviously, um, I'm not really good with UK uh, 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 location names. It's very difficult. But yeah, from Scotland, tar tartan. So the set of a tartan means it's a distance between basically the patterns. And if 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 it's a tighter pattern, it will be used for ties and other accessories and if it's a wider pattern I believe it will be more suitable for kilt or in this case lining of the barber jacket. So barber jacket is originated apparently from Scotland which is around the top side of the UK where it's always wet and really cold so it makes sense that, that this was developed there. Lastly the color is iconic barber color which is corduroy in this case is brown color because the jacket itself is sage this is not olive this is sage and I believe a lot of companies these days try to copy well I don't know who started it first as in putting corduroy in the color I'm sure barber is not the first one but barber did it the best in my opinion and a lot of companies you know copy this design and you know have similar designs as barber as i've said i don't know who did it first but let me know if you know who i mean where did this come from where, who was the first people who were the first company to basically to come up with corduroy color or maybe it was like a regional thing maybe it started like in scotland like they used to use corduroy color and it just spread i'm not sure so let me know if you know in the comment section please the color as also uh, comes up and you can wear them like this there's another button flap goes around and you can secure yourself uh, like this however I don't use this like this I just keep them locked here and so that so it doesn't disturb me basically I'm just gonna put this back here I just like it I just like to use the jacket like this and has been fine as the Ashby is more of a light jacket, uh, it doesn't have any zippers at the back. Usually they have a zip at the back, which used, they used to put pheasants in or these days newspapers. But this Ashby jacket doesn't have it. Rather, it has a button that you can open and close here. I guess it gives a bit more ventilation when it's open and not when it's closed. I like to keep it open and, and then keep myself ventilated a bit more. Inside uh, the locking system is just basically zip. This is a zip made by YKK. It's a famous or popular zip company, I believe. They have a monopoly or something. It's very sturdy and hasn't been a problem so far. And next to it, there is a button fastening method as well, so that uh, you can be extra secure when you're walking around in your barber jacket. Uh, personally, do I like this jacket? Yes, I love this jacket. I will wear this almost every day when it's around spring and summertime when I'm on my way to work. It's perfect. It's It doesn't get me too sweaty compared to like other thick puff jackets, which makes me really sweaty if I just wear it with like many, many other things. Uh, oh, yeah. And one thing I want to mention is that this is size extra large. For your reference, my chest size is 48 and XL fits me perfect. Like if it's tight so I can wear a shirt. Or maximum of maybe like a like lightweight sweatshirts or sweat uh, sweaters basically 
not like a thick one, but like lightweight ones. And I can put this on top. It'll be perfect. And for anyone who wants to have it a bit bigger, as in like more room in your jacket, you probably should go for extra, extra large. I think it'll be a bit too big, but yes, extra large for size 48, which I wear for suits. The only problem that I have with barber jacket is that you guys will probably know if you're from the UK, but it, this jacket just screams countryside, you know, sometimes. Not that it's bad, but a lot of people will wear the jacket, obviously, in the city as well. Um, but a lot of country people use it as well. And sometimes it's been... It feels a bit you're like overdressed if you wear this with like just normal t-shirt or or jeans just to go out for like I don't know formal not not nothing formal just casual stuff and it feels like you are basically wearing a suit obviously you're not uh, but it's uh, there's a there's a bit of um there's a bit of a feeling that 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 you are doing something like that this is not something super casual it's a bit more on the formal side but. It's not something that I will complain, but it's a bit something that I'm aware of when I when I wear the barber jacket, basically. The price point of the Barber Ashby jacket is currently around $400 in the US. And if you buy in the UK, it's around 250 pounds the retail price. But the jacket, but the jacket itself goes on sale quite often. So please keep an eye out if you're interested in buying the jacket. Obviously, I would 100% recommend if they're on sale, go for it. The jacket is super nice. It will last you a long time and it's waterproof if you take care of them properly. However, if you are buying them retail price, I still think they are worth their price because uh, just, just because how long they last. So I had them for five years and they're still going very strong. Nothing is wrong with them and it's just got to take care of them. I can probably wear them for five, ten more years. And I'll still be good, probably more than that. So I will definitely recommend, if you're interested, buying the jacket. Anyway, guys, this is Tom from Kurosul.com. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll come back with more videos next time.